Hello, thank you for joining Shuttleworth's live demo on line balancing and dynamic accumulation. I'm your host, Joe Christian. First, we will discuss the importance of accumulation. We will show you a simplified example of how accumulation can alleviate challenges like unplanned downtime. Then we will get into Shuttleworth's approach to solve the problems through dynamic accumulation. Lastly, we will discuss how we can combine the accumulated product smoothly back into the production line and balance the flow of product. Please keep in mind, we are available right now through the chat if you have any questions throughout this presentation. As you know, production lines consist of different machines with different characteristics. They have different rates of production, downtime intervals, and consumable depletion. This data is important to understand so you can improve the efficiency of your production line. By introducing accumulation in the production line, you can decouple each of the processes so one machine is not waiting on another to return to production. In other words, if one machine goes offline, the entire line doesn't suffer. The result, is an the result is an observable increase in overall equipment effectiveness. Your goal should be each machine running at its most efficient rate and having accumulation can help. So to drive this point home, we're going to focus on an extremely simple example. Let's say a, a facility's goal is to produce 300 products per minute, which require two major processes, A and B. Process A takes a little while longer than process B, so the line doesn't, so the line requires three machines running at 100 products per minute each. Process B doesn't require as much time, so the machines which perform process B can run efficiently at 150 products per minute. In a perfect world, as shown here, all the processes are humming along and life is good. The accumulation and balancing system never accumulates product because they are being consumed by process B machines as fast as process A is producing them. The flow from process A is simply combined from three lanes to two and products are balanced to the two machines in process B at 150 products per minute each. Well, unless you were born yesterday, you know that the world is not perfect. We must consider the possibility of one of the machines experiencing downtime. So let's say process B machine goes down for two minutes and you don't have an accumulation system. Mass chaos ensues. The operators on the line scramble to save some of the products from falling to the floor or becoming damaged. You must dial back the production from process A so the entire line eventually slows down. You have not only wasted a bunch of valuable time, but also have scrap product everywhere. Or you could introduce a dynamic accumulation system to handle the product when a machine goes down, as you can see here. The accumulation system automatically handles the overflow from process A. Once you have process B machine back online, the total throughput goes back to 300 products per minute and the accumulation system is about one third full. Since this is an ultra simplified example, let's say an hour later, one of the process A machine machines jams up and it takes you two minutes to clear the jam. Since you were smart and introduced an accumulation system between the processes, process B can continue without interruption while the jam is being cleared. The accumulation system receives 200 products per minute and will continue to send 150 products per minute to each of the process B machines. Accumulated product count dwindles by 100 products per minute. In the real world, you cannot predict when machines will go down. It is important to understand the rate of the slowest machine and design the machines downstream to outpace that machine. You want to have a buffer of product before the slowest machine so it never waits and ample space after this machine so its production always has somewhere to go. Your, your entire company depends on this machine running at its most efficient rate. 
Now that you understand accumulation and why it's so important, I want you to show you Shuttleworth's approach and why we fit in so many different scenarios. Number one is our slip torque conveyor platform. Our unique low line pressure conveyor provides significant advantages for accumulation. Most importantly, the ability to accumulate products very gently. We have another live demo specifically on our conveyor technology and I hope to see you there. We design our conveyor to meet needs in nearly all environments, including washdown, clean room, and explosion proof applications. It's important to know the available floor space, the product and its characteristics, and what the machines on the production line do and how they run most efficiently. When you engage a Shuttleworth sales engineer, we will work with you to understand these variables and identify a solution to fit your needs. Now let's look at some real world examples on how Shuttleworth can help solve your problems. First, we will discuss how we divide the flow of products to additional lanes for accumulation. You'll see examples of lane accumulation, mass accumulation, and vertical accumulation in case floor space is tight. Then we will show you how we combine the accumulated product back to a single file to go into the downstream equipment. First, let's take a look at some of our standard laning devices. These devices typically feature a break at the end of the diverter tunnel to retain product while changing lanes. These types of devices are suitable for lower production rates and products that can endure a little more positive manipulation. Here we have a carton product accumulation system. As you can see, product stops in the tunnel with the use of the side mounted brake and the device switches to the next lane. The braking mechanism can also be mounted above or below the conveyor surface. In another example, we take three lanes to nine lanes for accumulation. In this instance, we use an overhead brake to pause the flow of product before entering the diverter tunnels. For production lines with higher throughput, we have our high speed laning solution, which features a telescoping tunnel that extends with the product flow while simultaneously directing the product to the next lane. This continuous motion design allows for production rates upwards of 700 products per minute, depending on the size of the product. We can do these in both heavy washdown and non-washdown systems. And the first thing to no notice is that there's nothing amounted above the product, reducing the likelihood of contaminants falling onto the product. All of the components to make the system function are mounted beneath the roller surface and we actually have the ability to move each of the lane guides independently to allow for push button changeovers with different product widths. The last diverter I'd like to show you is the pivot diverter. This style uses pivoting belts to allow for not only continuous motion laning but also to divert your product without touching any sides of the product. The two belts can pivot to divide the flow from a single lane to two or three lanes. Next, let's revisit the graham cracker video and take a little bit deeper dive at the accumulation and buffering options. In this example, we have laned accumulation, and it's typically used for square or rectangular products or production lines that require strict FIFO, first in, first out, accumulation for serialization. In the graham cracker video, we use Shuttleworth's unique slip torque conveyor because it's ideal for this application because of the low back pressure characteristics. While the product is stopped on the conveyor surface, the rollers stop underneath, which reduces the line pressure and eliminates product damage. As you can see in this example, Shuttleworth can support a variety of different layout combinations as space allows. Another type of accumulation is what we call mass accumulation. This means that the product enters the conveyor surface and accumulates across the width of the conveyor without the need for lane guides. The product naturally nests itself against other products on the conveyor surface and it's typically, mass accumulation is typically only used for round products in which FIFO is not required. Our low back pressure conveyor allows straight walled and tapered products to be mass accumulated. In the system that you're seeing here, we're handling a fragile product at a relatively fast production rate. You can see how the product naturally nests as the products begin to accumulate. And while our slip torque surface 
allows for vastly reduced line pressure compared to other conveyor surfaces. In this example, we've further reduced line pressure by controlling the zones of accumulation and then speed changes are seamlessly built into the conveyor surface. For solutions with very wide conveyor beds, we can incorporate devices at the front end of the system to oscillate and enhance the nesting across the whole width of the conveyor. Again, even heavy, fragile products can be accumulated efficiently and gently on our slip torque conveyor surface without damaging or marring the product. And the last style of accumulation that we'll discuss is vertical accumulation. If you don't have a lot of floor space available, you can always go up. Shuttleworth's vertical accumulation and buffering systems allow you to utilize the unoccupied space above the production line, available in both FIFO and LIFO configurations, and washdown and non-washdown options. Now that you understand how we divide the flow of products and accumulate, you're probably wondering how we merge the products back to a single file or reduced lanes. We have several ways depending on how the product is accumulated. For lane accumulation systems, we typically merge products with the use of adjustable or fixed guides as products are released with blade stops or other product brakes. Blade stops are pneumatic devices mounted beneath the conveyor surface attached to a blade used to retain the product in its lane. The blade stop will then retract through the surface to allow the product to continue down the line. The system will release a slug of product from any one lane at an instantaneous rate greater than the nominal production rate. For mass accumulation systems, we have two primary means of combining, depending on the product and the layout. The first example I'll show you is what we call tight single rowing. This is our term for forcing the product through a guide funnel to yield a single file product. This is typically only used for a rigid, straight walled, or cylindrical product, which can handle some level of line pressure. This concept maximizes the accumulation footprint available. So the opposite of tight single rowing is, you guessed it, loose single rowing. We can do this at a either an inline or at a right angle and feature speed changes to accelerate the product away from the mass. The natural friction of the product contacting the guide rail will gently bring the product flow to a single file. This can be used for straight walled products, but is especially useful for products with an inverse taper. While all of our solutions are modularly designed and can be mix and matched for a custom solution based on your needs, the last solution I would like to show you is an all-in-one buffering and accumulation cell we like to call the DASH. The DASH is a compact, continuous motion FIFO buffering system utilizing a right angle servo diverter a multi-lane accumulation bed, and a right-angle servo combiner. Products enter the system continuously and are diverted using a right-angle servo diverter. A reciprocating trombone guide is used to pull a gap in the product flow to allow the diverter time to shift lanes. Once in a lane, our slip torque surface allows for gentle product accumulation on a single conveyor bed powered by one common drive. Products are released via a in-surface pin stop and transfer to our right angle combiner. The dash comes in a variety of layout configurations depending on space and production requirements. View more solutions in action on our YouTube channel. You can also reach out to us on our website www.shuttleworth.com